In this video, I'll be configuring and adding a TP-Link TLSG108E Gigabit Easy Smart Switch to my network. This is a managed VLAN capable switch that I'll connect to my Synology router to expand the available Ethernet ports beyond the four LAN ports the router provides. On my Synology router, which is an RT6600AX that I configured in a previous video linked in the description below, I set up a few local networks and VLANs. If we look at the current VLAN tagging of the router, we can see that ports 1 and 2 are tagged or trunk ports for the various VLANs. We can also see this when clicking on the Configure Trunk Port button. The TLSG108E smart switch needs to be plugged into one of these two trunk ports so that once it's configured, its ports can be assigned to any of the VLANs. I'll select port 2 on the router because it's the only one that can't be assigned to a specific network or VLAN, so it will work perfectly as a trunk port. On the TP-Link switch, I'll plug the Ethernet cable coming from port 2 of the router into port 8 on the switch, which will be configured as the switch's trunk port, then power it on. It should receive a DHCP IP address from the primary network on the router, and if we check the DHCP clients, we can see the switch listed. Next, I'll open a new browser tab and connect to the TP-Link switch web UI by entering in the switch's IP address. Then I'll log in with the default username and password of admin. I'll be prompted to set up a new password for the admin user, and once that's done, I'll be logged in for the first time. From here, I'll select VLAN, then choose 802.1Q VLAN, which is the industry standard for inter-switch VLAN communication. Next, I'll enable the 802.1Q VLAN configuration and click Apply. Then click OK on this pop-up window to confirm the change. At this point, I can start configuring the switch. For my setup, I'd like to configure ports 5 and 6 for the server VLAN, port 7 for the DMZ VLAN, and port 8 as the trunk port for all VLANs, as mentioned earlier. All other ports will remain on VLAN 1, which is the primary network where all my trusted clients connect. To set up the server VLAN, I'll enter its VLAN ID, which is 103, into the VLAN box and give it a VLAN name of server. Ports 5 and 6 need to be set up as untagged access ports, and port 8 needs to be the tagged trunk port. Then I'll click Add Modify to save the change. I'll repeat the steps for the DMZ VLAN, which uses VLAN ID 104. The untagged port is port 7, and the tagged port will again be port 8. Then I'll click Add Modify to save the changes. Next, I'll switch over to the 802.1Q PVID settings window to set the VLAN IDs for the ports that I just configured. I'll enter 103 in the PVID box for the server VLAN, select ports 5 and 6, and click Apply. Then I'll do the same for the DMZ VLAN, entering in 104 in the PVID box, selecting port 7, and clicking Apply. At this point, I'll test to make sure the switch is working properly. On my MacBook, I'll use another Ethernet adapter, plug it into port 1 on the switch, and I should get an IP address on VLAN 1, which is the primary network for my trusted clients. If I log back into my Synology router and check the DHCP clients, we can see that I do. Next, I'll move the Ethernet cable to port 5 which should be on the server VLAN. After logging back into my Synology router, we can see that the Ethernet adapter is now on the server network. Finally, I'll move the Ethernet cable to port 7, which should be on the DMZ VLAN, and if I refresh the Synology router's DHCP client listing, we can see that it's now on the DMZ network confirming that the VLAN setup on the switch and the connection to the Synology router is working properly. 
Now I have additional ports available for my devices and I could add additional TP-Link TLSG108E Gigabit Easy Smart Switches to my network using this exact setup if I need even more ports in the future. Hopefully this video was helpful to you and if it was, consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel as well. Also, if you'd like to hire me to assist in setting up your network, feel free to contact me using the links on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.